Do you want to be a live 2D VTuber but can't afford it? Or do you not have the skills to draw and make your own live 2D VTuber? Well, that's okay because in today's video, we're going to be checking out this amazing piece of software called VTuber Kit. VTuber Kit is a highly customizable, very lightweight program that is fantastic for new 2D VTubers. And honestly, I cannot recommend it enough. But before we jump into today's video, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. It really does help out the channel. All the links that are mentioned in this video are in the description down below. Also, please consider checking out the creator of this software. Their Twitter is also linked down in the description below. They deserve so many follows. The first thing we're going to do is head to the person that created this software's Twitter and hit the download link. Once we're at their website, we will scroll down just a little bit and we will select download. With the program downloaded, we're gonna right click on it and extract to folder. We're gonna let it extract. And then once that's done, we will drag it to our desktop and execute the file once it's all done. Depending on the computer you have, this process can take a couple of seconds to a couple of minutes. Now we'll just open up the folder and click on VTuber kit. Great, now that we have the program open, let's take a look at some settings. The settings of the program is located on the top left hand side. And as we see, we got game capture down here. So background color, we could change it to whatever we want. Preferably probably green screen would be better. Camera, camera gives you your camera selection. So we're gonna switch this to C920 so it actually uses the proper camera. Microphone, we're gonna swap that to my microphone. You might not have to do this, but I have to do this. UI settings, we're just gonna leave it there. Tool tips, we will also leave. And window settings, we're gonna leave it as default. Okay, now let's check out the XY tab. Okay, now that we're in the XY, we got skin color selection. So we could change our skin color to say maybe Orion green or Andorian blue. We also have tracking quality. Obviously the higher the number, the better the tracking, tracking smoothness. Camera FPS control. You want to make sure this is actually set to your camera's proper FPS. Don't crank it up to 60 if your camera cannot handle 60. Keep it to what it actually can handle. Movement limit, we're going to leave it on default. Tilt, face, face vertical, voice detection sensitivity. You might have to play a little bit with depending on your microphone. Everything else, I would probably leave on default, especially auto blinking. It is a very nice feature. Now let's check out its really, really cool integrated feature with Twitch. VTuber Kit actually has a built-in Twitch throwing system, which is absolutely astounding. Not a lot of programs actually have this built in. You type in your Twitch username at the top, your authentication key, your Twitch channel ID, your headpat request name, the volume that you want to have it play on stream, which would probably I would say probably 0.5, the direction of said head pat. And you could also do throwing objects, which direction you want the objects to be thrown and whatnot. And this is a fantastic feature that's just automatically built into the software. Now I'm not gonna show me actually using that in this particular video, mostly because I don't wanna accidentally leak any of my authentication keys or anything like that. But I really, really suggest you guys set this up and give it a try. Trust me when I say it, it's worth it. Okay, so now let's check out the last two tabs on the left-hand side before we get into real customization of our avatar. Underneath the information tab, we got their website. We have where we can support them on Patreon, which I highly suggest we do. They're thanking to open C face for the face tracking and other little information like versions. Underneath the live tab, we have camera position. So if we scroll in and scroll out, we hit save. That will save the position when we open up the software again. We have different model variations that we can save as well. So for example, if I added different hair, different body, I could save that underneath variation two and click on one or two just to load up that model really quick. We got testing the head pats. We have testing throwing objects. which seems to work pretty good. And we got some welcome information and how to use the software, AKA scrolling with your mouse wheel and so on and so forth. 
Okay, great. Now that we've gone through the basic settings, let's check out the avatar customization. Okay, so customization wise, we got different things like different hairstyles that we could change and choose from. I'm probably gonna go with a longer look. We got a little bit of hair add-ons as well. So I'm gonna probably add different bangs here. I'm gonna say probably that. Uh, maybe add this too. As you guys can see, there's lots of, lots of hair options that you can actually choose from for your avatar. But I'm thinking that's looking pretty good for hair. We're gonna change hair color a little bit, maybe a little bit of uh, Orion green. And no, let's go red, let's go red. Perfect, hair shading. So we can change the shading of the hair and we can change the strength of the shading. So as you can see, it adds more shading to the hair, which is fantastic. Over here, we got irises and different eye styles. So we're gonna change the eye to more of a board look. Iris color, maybe crank that up a little bit. As we see, we can see we have blue eyes now. Pupils, we can change the pupil color if we really chose to do so. So yellow, that's looking eh, pretty scary. Let's go, let's go blue, darker blue. And uh, you know what? I'm okay with the eyes. We can change the mouth options as well. So, so many different options with the mouth, hair, mouth and now clothing clothing wise clothing is a little bit limited but i believe they add more as uh, they go but we're just going to add a basic long sweater and maybe some uh some leggings and we could also change the color of the sweater so let's go something a little bit blue and secondary would be probably like shorts or something and then our socks we're going to change them to blue again Clicking over to the next tab, we got accessories. So with accessories, all we gotta do is just click on the accessory you want and keep on clicking to add more and more and more and more. And we can honestly add as many uh, as, as we really want. We can even add freckles if we wanna have freckles. And we just change the color of the accessory when it is uh, selected. So honestly, so many different accessories you can add to your avatar. Our last tab here is customization. As we see, that is coming soon, and I'm really looking forward to what they add to customization. Now let's get this all set up in OBS so we could stream this onto Twitch or YouTube. Just like what VTubers Kit's instructions say, we need to press the escape key on our keyboard to hide the user interface. So let's do that right now. Great. With our OBS open, all we need to do is underneath our sources, we need to click on the plus icon. Then we are going to go to game capture. Under game capture, we're gonna label it as VTuber kit. And then press okay. With mode up here, we're gonna click on mode and then we're gonna to go to capture specific window. Window, we are gonna click on VTuber kit. And then we are gonna click on allow transparency. This will automatically remove any and all green screens that are on the screen. Then we are gonna click okay, and then move our avatar to where we want it on the screen and then lock our avatar in. And just like that, with VTuber Kit, we have a live 2D like avatar ready for our live streams. Leave me a comment down below if you're gonna use VTuber Kit and what you think of this amazing software. Again, I'm your VTuber Senpai. I stream here on YouTube every Monday, Wednesday, and Fridays. So come on by, say hi. Let's talk about anime, gaming, VTubing, whatever. And well, I'll catch you all in the next one. Bye. Special shout out goes to this month's Patreon members, Miss Lyra Rose and Chitra. Thank you so much for your continued support.